Hey guys, so in Revenge of the Sith, we see Anakin complete his transition to the dark side by chopping Mace Windu's hand off, sentencing him to imminent death. However, this death has been questioned ever since by Star Wars fans, as many believe that he didn't die. His fall from the Chancellor's office is a fall we have seen Jedi survive many times before. So that begs the question, what if Mace Windu survived? As Mace is jolted with bolts of deadly lightning, he is cast out the window to the streets below. Beneath him, hundreds of speeders and ships zoom throughout the city. As Mace jumps in and out of conscience, he reaches out with his last arm and finds a speeder. He is able to grip onto it and fly to safety. He immediately goes to a medical bay where he is able to get a robotic hand. Mace would sense the danger the Republic was about to face. All he felt was darkness. Before it was too late, he left the medical bay to go straight back to the Jedi Temple. As the silhouette appeared in vision for Mace, all he saw was smoke. Something wasn't right. He hadn't sensed this level of darkness ever before. He lands at the temple and heads inside. He is immediately struck to the core with sadness, but more than that, anger. He looks around to see his brothers, his family spread around the floor, thousands of Jedi in each room, filled with gunshot and lightsaber wounds. Skywalker, Mace mutters under his breath. By this time, Anakin had left. He was busy on Mustafar, dueling Obi-Wan Kenobi. Mace continues to search the temple, each room busy with bodies of the dead, even the younglings cut down like pigs. Hey, you there, don't move. Come on boys, I found another. A clone yells. Mace looks behind him to see a squadron of clones. Without hesitation, the clones all fire upon Master Windu. He jumps to avoid the blaster bolts before igniting his lightsaber to deflect them back towards the clones. Mace was bewildered. He had fought beside these men for years, and just like that, they turn on him. The clones were no match for him. He pressed his attacks forward and sliced a lot of them to the ground. Mace figured he better leave before more arrive, so he goes back to his ship and immediately heads off world. Thinking of where to go until he can make contact with any more surviving Jedi, his mind heads to Ryloth. He has good relations with the planet, and has helped them many times. He arrives on Ryloth and keeps a low profile, trying to hear any word he can on the Jedi, and that was that for the next two years. Mace couldn't do anything. He imagined Obi-Wan and Yoda were dead, as well as almost every other Jedi. The Empire made their way to Ryloth to take over the planet, which made things even harder for Mace Windu. It would only be until one night, when he was at the local canteen that he would go to most days, where he overheard a group of stormtroopers talking. They mentioned Darth Vader, the new general who was terrifying, but successful and powerful. They envied and admired him. The troopers mentioned that they thought Vader's home was on Mustafar, the fiery distant planet. May stopped. He knew exactly who they were talking about. But it couldn't be. It couldn't be Anakin, he thought to himself. He left the bar that night dazed, not knowing what to do. For the next week, he pondered his options. Ultimately, he came to the conclusion that he has to leave Ryloth and find Anakin. Mace was enraged, and he knew exactly where to start. Mustafar. The following morning, he left Ryloth and set course for Mustafar. Mace couldn't think straight. He was full of emotion and felt the best thing to do was to go directly to Anakin and kill him. As arrogant as Windu was, he always knew he was more powerful than Anakin. As Vader hovers in his back to tank, he gets his daily healing session in. Only until he senses a nearby presence. Immediately ordering the droids to get him out of the tank, he gets into his suit and walks outside. Skywalker, you took everything away the Jedi had fought so hard to achieve. I always knew the true you. You were never one of us. Vader looked at Mace. He was stunned to see that he had survived. 
I see you survived your fall. The destiny of the Jedi was failure. You should have died along with their kind. But now you will. Windu ignited his purple lightsaber and swings for Vader. His blade flurried around the fire planet, creating a new contrast of colors. The two force wielders' saber techniques are equally based. Anger against anger, aggression against aggression. Mace could see the improvement that Anakin had made. The weak, close-minded Anakin was gone. Now he embodied the dark side. They continued to fight as their powers were matched in the force. Windu seemed rusty. He hadn't fought like this in years. Well, since the loss to Palpatine almost three years ago. Mace had come here to end Anakin. The boy he had always hated and never trusted, even back to the days with Qui-Gon. But his fate was always to die at the hands of the Chosen One. Vader turns and thrusts the red blade through the heart of Mace Windu killing him. Turning his lightsaber off, Vader bends down to the ground and takes Windu's lightsaber, sort of as a trophy for everything the man put him through. Vader's ego was only boosted. The one person who never liked him was dead. Thank you guys so much for watching today's What If. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a video that could go in so many directions. But for me, I've always loved the idea of Mace Windu being killed by Vader. If they ever do decide to bring Windu back from the dead, perhaps in a future so, I hope they end his character by killing him. I know this seems a little lacklustre, having him survive to only be killed later, but I truly believe that this is the most likely event, and honestly the most enjoyable. Still, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. What are some other directions the story could have gone in? I can also make it part 2 or remake this video with a different storyline, as their possibilities are endless. When writing this, I couldn't think of any scenario where Mace survived that long into the Empire's reign. He had to be dead by at least the time of Rebels. If he was still alive somehow then, why didn't he do anything to help? That just doesn't seem like his character, to wait around for decades. I also feel like it's poetic to have Vader kill Mace, it kinda feels like Anakin finally getting back at him for being treated terribly. I also want to hear more what if ideas in the comments below. May the force be with you.